The Empire's on the run. Alex Jones and the GCN Radio Network. Alex Jones here to tell you about how you can help spread liberty worldwide while also enjoying what I have found to be the best tasting 100% organic coffee on the planet. For more than a decade, my favorite coffee has come from the high mountains of southern Mexico, where the Chiapas farmers grow their unique shade-grown Arabica beans. We have now managed to secure the sought-after beans in a highly customized blend. Discover and try a bag of the Patriot Blend 100% organic coffee at InfoWarsLife.com. This coffee gives you a long, smooth pick-me-up for hours without the headaches and heartburn that so many other coffees give me personally. Hands down, this is my favorite coffee. And it's taken us years to secure connections directly to the Chiapas Mexican farmers. Drop by the site today, order a bag or two, and I don't think you're going to be disappointed. Available in original or with our immune support infusion blend, you will be supporting a free press, all the while enjoying a truly great-tasting cup of my favorite coffee. Available at InfoWarsLife.com. In the last 50 years, iodine has been phased out of our staple foods and replaced with the halogen bromine, a practice now banned in nations around the world. Guess what else is in the halogen family? Fluoride. Ladies and gentlemen, Alex Jones here. In 1924, the federal government did the right thing and encouraged salt producers to add iodine. It's the good halogen on the periodic table. And the results are on record, reports documented, a 15-point IQ increase in areas that had previously been deficient in iodine. Bottom line, iodine is important. Unbound, clean, in a glycerin base, nascent iodine was the answer for myself and my family. You will find Survival Shield nascent iodine exclusively at InfoWarsLife.com. InfoWars Life Survival Shield nascent iodine isn't just for emergencies. I take it every day. That's InfoWarsLife.com or call toll-free 888-253-3139. Why does the United States spend the largest percentage of GDP in the world on health care? Why do we have the highest cancer rates on the planet? The highest rates of diabetes, autism, and every other major disease. It all comes down to one thing. We are what we eat. Our food is devoid of nutrition and processed with poisons and additives. Our water is filled with toxic poisons and big pharma runoff. All of this has been engineered by design. We can turn the tide against the eugenicist by giving ourselves the nutrients our body desperately needs. To learn more, visit InfoWarsHealth.com. The site is literally packed with audio and video featuring top health professionals who don't bow down to Big Pharma. The fight against the New World Order starts with you, and you can't stand against the machine of your sick, tired, and obese. When you visit InfoWarsHealth.com, be sure and check out the catalog with nearly 400 life-changing products, and get free shipping when you sign up for AutoShip. take you live to the Central Texas Command Center and the heart of the resistance. It's Alex Jones. All right, here's what I want to do. I want to open the phones up on any subject you want to discuss. First time callers, 800-259-9231. 800-259-9231 is the toll-free number to join us on any subject which you discuss. Let me go over a ton of news. It, the video's up on DrudgeReport.com. It's very interesting. I'm going to play it later in the next hour and get Nomi Prinz's take on it. Uh, with uh, Vladimir Putin being interviewed by Snowden and Snowden quizzing him about Russian spying. So see, uh, Putin's going with the trust angle. And I'm certainly not romanticizing him, but they're, they're smart. They've already gone through the disinfo cycle of the Soviets where you just lie about everything. And it shows the arrogance of the globalists. They've decided to try to just overthrow reality. The Russians are deciding to try to hide it in plain view. So we've got that uh, up on Infowars.com and PrisonPlanet.com. Tenth grader suspended over yellow water pistol. Again, teaching folks that uh, it's okay to uh, play violent video games all day and all the violence on TV. But then if you have a water pistol to have fun with, that's bad. That's uh, like the character Colonel Kurtz in uh, Apocalypse Now. He says we we have our uh, pilot.
pilots drop napalm on children, but then we we uh, court martial them when they write cuss words on the side of their airplanes. <laughs> That's what all these fake churches do. They'll tell you because you had a drink, you're evil, or because you thought a woman was beautiful, you were bad, and because they know you're a good person. They want you to feel guilty in these devil churches. They don't want to talk about the big evils going on in the world, the starving people, the poor, the disintegration of the family, the abortions, the wars. No, no, these establishment churches, they want you to think about how you're either evil and they can fix you, or you're special and you're wonderful and you're perfect and you can do no wrong. But don't get politically involved because, you know, we, we just need to come into the church and give our money to the little twinkle toes, uh, glitter bug preacher and his blonde trophy wife, who are the fakest people on earth. I want to throw up all over them. You can tell a real preacher real quick. I was with one last night at dinner. I saw my buddy Shane Steiner. Um, he hadn't been singing in years. He had a couple of number two, number three hits on the country charts. And man, he was... He, he wrote some stuff that's good songs to have big hits, you know, for commercial success. But just hearing him do covers, he's just an incredible singer. In fact, that's how we're going to sell Super Mel Vitality, is well, I'm going to get Shane to sing some of his songs and just have an ad at the end of it. I mean, I, I tell you, it was first class. And Weldon is, is great at playing all the old country songs and his own. He's kind of like a Dwight Yoakam meets Waylon Jennings. So many talented people. You know, everybody says, I'm talented, I'm talented, or my friend's talented. No, Weldon's talented, and Shane Steiner's talented. And Shane has gone, 10 years ago is when he quit, got tired of being on the road and all the rest of it, uh, and wanted to have a, start a family, and he has. He's got two great daughters, uh, but just a good friend of mine, went to high school with him. It's just that, uh, you know, some, you know, one of the guys that uh, plays keyboard in the, in the band is, is, is a really good keyboard player. And uh, that was the story I was telling, because he's... You know, it was quite a few black folks actually out there, but I was just telling the story about, you know, his keyboard player is a black guy. And, 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 and it's just so sad from the media that you can just always tell when you're sitting around a fire, everybody was already gone, it was closed, and everybody's sitting there that, 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 that like white people, black people, once they start talking to me and, you know, each other, then people aren't even uncomfortable. You pick up that little bit of uncomfortableness, and that's the media trying to do that. And I'm so sick of it. That's exactly what I'm talking about, is that they want us all to have chips on our shoulders against each other. And, and just today, I'm being more reflective, folks. I'm just all over the map, wandering around like Bundy's cattle out there on 600,000 acres of desert. I mean, I'm just telling you what's going on inside my head. Because I've got all this news, and I want to give the number out and take your calls. And I haven't plugged anything yet. And that's how we fund ourselves. Plus, it's all great products. The sale will end tomorrow. And it's 25% uh, off the Traveler Pro Pure with the G2 filters that cut out the glyphosates, the fluoride, everything. The G2.0. And we already have the lowest prices. And it's a great company, but they do complain sometimes that their other distributors, I'm the biggest, are like, man, you, you always have a 10% off out of the gates. And we know we let you do that in a contract, but boy, it, it really, you know, upsets folks. Well, the other people should lower prices as well. You know, just people shouldn't be greedy. Uh, the owners aren't. They're great folks. Well, they came to us and said, all right, buddy, you want 25% off on the uh, Traveler? Other competing brands are 200 bucks for something similar that, it, that doesn't even have these good of a filters. That's why we sell it. 25% off on the Pro Pure Traveler. It annihilates the competition. Side-by-side -side comparisons. Infowarsstore.com. It's got a stainless steel spigot. The competition doesn't have that. Uh, and again, I'd carry the competition. I'd just carry everything and have the lowest prices, but there's just nothing really that good uh, compared to the, this system. It's just so much better uh, that it'd be like, do I want a brand new Japanese car or do I want a 1974 Gremlin? And I just don't want to pay more for a Gremlin when I can get a brand new Acura. I mean, it's just not happening. I've had an Acura for 10 years that the office uses that we don't even hardly service. And the thing just doesn't ever have problems. That's unbelievable. The point is, ladies and gentlemen, is that it's the Acura, I would say, compared to the to the to the Ford Pentos that are out there and the who made the Gremlin? Thought it's funny that thought it's funny that didn't Gremlins blow up and stuff? I, I mean that was the Pinto. Well oh, that was the Pinto. Thank you. Well why would you name something a Gremlin when Gremlins annihilate machinery and and and, and working parts? They thought it was cute. They thought it was cute. But, but, I mean, here's the thing. New York Times, I don't believe in gr gremlins, even though I saw a couple last night. 
looking at me through my window. I'm joking. <laughs> Whenever I see, I got to be honest. Whenever I see Hillary Clinton and Michelle Obama on stage, I think, you know, that that's that they literally look like gremlins. I got to be honest. I mean, they talk about how beautiful Michelle Obama is. That woman looks like a monster or something. I mean, she looks like a snaggletooth uh, snapping turtle. Public buys it. The public likes it. We should do a, uh, we should put a snapping turtle. <laughs> Does it not look like Michelle Obama or am I lying? That's, oh my gosh, that's, oh my gosh. Michelle Obama looks like a gremlin from Gremlins. And, and then Hillary looks like uh, Stripe or Mohawk. Who's the one? Look up Stripe from. <laughs> All right, folks, I'm out of control. Oh, my gosh. A female. Oh, my. That's her. I do not believe it. Give that to the graphics department and have them say, Michelle Obama releases new official photo and tweet it. <laughs> I can't help it. Oh, my gosh. I do want a Hillary, too. Oh, my gosh. You got to stop it. You got to stop it. Oh, my gosh. Oh, wait, wait that, one with, that one with purple lips looks like Hillary. Go back to those. We, we also have a TV show, folks, for people that are listening on radio. No, that kind of looks like, uh, who does that look like I know? All right, that's enough. That's enough. That's enough. Pull up an image of gremlins, and then I'll pick the ones I think, the, the one for Hillary. You've got the one I want to send out as Michelle Obama, but together with it in the same graphic, I want uh, Hillary, Hillary and Hillary and Michelle Obama issue new official photos. And then I want the two as the graphic by each other with that under it. Um, you know, one is Hillary, one is just, just, just pull up gremlins and put them on screen. I'll pick one right now. Um, I don't know. See, the little furry one looks like Bill Clinton, but it's actually the most vicious. Uh, that looks like, uh, who does that look like around the office? Guys, to be honest. Be honest who that looks like. <laughs> All right, scroll down, scroll down. I'll pick one. Scroll down, please. I got to pick one quick because folks don't want to hear this. because They can't see what I'm talking about unless they're watching on TV. I don't know. Hillary looks more like a critter um, from Critters. Pull up the Critters because that's what Hillary kind of looks like. All right, that's enough. I'm telling you, there you go. That's Hillary's official new photo. And then we've got Michelle Obama. And then we've got the BLM agents right above her. The BLM agents like roll everywhere they go, just like the critters. All right, that's enough, ladies and gentlemen. Shut it down. Uh, in other news, uh, Ron Paul says Bitcoin is not true money. Court declares that, yes, bloggers are the media. A few years ago, we heard about the uh, you know efforts uh, by uh, Diane Feinstein and others to not have media protections for bloggers, uh, but now you can read at Tech Dirt um, that uh, it's been found in court that indeed bloggers do have the same protections as the regular press, the old-fashioned dinosaur press that's been captured and taken over and discredited. That's out of the Courthouse News Service and Tech Dirt. A uh, good article by Kurt Nemo: Baghdad Paradigm of Globalist Creative Destruction, where they destroy countries. Uh, so they can't compete, and then that increases the value of the investments, say, in Jordan or Turkey or Israel right next door. Then they put al-Qaeda in charge because they'll, they'll, they'll destroy the country the best and bring them back to the Stone Age. And then it gives al-Qaeda a new base since they got rid of Afghanistan for them to run operations so they can then use the al-Qaeda threat to take our rights. I mean, it's very elementary. Uh, again, GOP fears executive order on biometric guns. Senator Cornyn is warning the Obama administration that's openly saying they may take action with uh, making you wear a bracelet or putting biometrics on the guns, banning previously manufactured guns from sale. Uh, that's, that's the way to do it. And uh, Obama's claiming he has that, that power to do that. That's a pretty big emergency situation. That's out of the Hill newspaper. Report FBI visiting gun shops to investigate people talking about big government. That's still on DrudgeReport.com in the middle column last time I checked. 86 million full-time private sector workers sustain 148 million benefit takers, CNS News. That's the Congressional Budget Office. I mentioned this yesterday, but that's such a big deal. Maybe some of you want to call in about that. Heroin.